Welcome back to Felsbrunn. So we're currently driving the Massey Ferguson 4737S, which is actually on lease. The reason for this is because it's a big field we're about to work in. It is field number 17. And we do start off with a tractor as well. So within this lease, we not only get the combine, but we also do get a Massey Ferguson. I think it's a 7726. If not, it's a very similar model. Um, and a trailer. So we, we get to do the whole thing. It's not just a case of harvest in the field, we have to unload and deal with the grain. So let me just unfold the combine harvester first. Lots of birds flying out of the undergrowth just around here. And this is it. Field number 17. Uh, so yeah, as you can see from the minimap it is a big field. It's a fairly square field. Might just chop this if I can do. There we go. And you can see the chop straw. Chopping it all up into a fine chaff, and a nice mulch to rot down into the soil. And what we're going to do after this is move on to our own field again, because they're going to need to be weeded. Uh, we do have some weeds growing over there, I believe. Only very small weeds, but they do need to be dealt with. So very soon we're going to have to bring the tractor and trailer over too. Um, it's it's a uh, agro liner, I think it is. So it should be able to hold all of this field, hopefully. As you've just seen, the combine harvester is full, so let's go over there with the tractor and trailer. It isn't a 7726, it's actually a 22, so very similar, but a lower horsepower. But yeah, we do have the aggro liner on the back, and we do have a cell point to take it to. It is marked on the minimap, so it's a, I think it's a green circle. Yes, down the bottom there. Right at the bottom right. Right at the bottom right, yes. Um, so that's where we need to go to, and we'll get it sold. Once the trailer's full, of course. I think as it's so close, I'll use this opportunity to uh, take a look at our own field with somebody else's diesel. I don't know if it charges us for the diesel which we use. It might do. But our field is just around the corner here. Ooh, yeah, very nice tractor. Um, are there any weeds in this field? Yes, and they might actually, they look, they look quite big, I thought I'd be able to just get away with using the weeder, but, hmm, we may have to use the herbicide sprayer. I'll take a look later. Okay, so back at the field, we're unloading into the trailer. Uh, if it doesn't all fit into the trailer, we might have to go and sell it and come back. I don't know if we can use the worker for the combine, let me just see if I just jump out see if it actually does work. It does seem to be, so that's probably going to cost us a fortune. Um, but, yes, I think we are going to have to go and sell it at some point before the field is finished. So that is a good way of keeping the field going whilst we're doing another job.
It's time to unload, and I think this time it's going to be pretty much full, especially if we put the whole of this next run into the trailer. So it's going to be close enough, it's 80% full of the combine. Um, it's going to be time to go over to the sell point to sell it. I think it is uh, Port Southeast or something, the sell point name. We'll take a look in a minute, but yeah, I'm fairly sure it is Southeast. So it's actually a bigger field than I thought even with this big combine harvester. Now you can see why I didn't choose to use our own. Uh, hang on, you're missing bits. You're missing bits. It was doing fine a minute ago. Hmm. Anyway. Let's fill the trailer. I think it will be fine after this. I believe it is the same system as previous games. The, uh, the worker. Yep. That's going to be pretty much full. While it's just finishing off, we'll take a look here. We're only getting paid uh, 4,939. And it's mainly because we're not using our own combine. So if we did have a big combine, we'd be paid quite a bit. Um, yes. So this place just here. It is the port. And it is full. Maybe a few more litres could fit in there next to nothing. Yep, hardly anything else could fit in there. So let's go. That driver didn't even look. They couldn't see the massive, massive Ferguson thundering towards them. I'm just trying to see if our other field has weeds in it too. I think it does do. Um, yeah, so we're, we're going to have to get the sprayer out. It's going to be the first time I've properly used the herbicide. So I'm actually intrigued to see how it all operates, how it all um, works when you spray the weeds. Well, I have seen it in a trailer before where it just withers, but I don't know if the weeds disappear after a certain amount of time, or if they do just wither. Um, even so, we can kill the weeds off. So we'll find out in a minute or two. Now, the best way to go from here looks to be left, I think? Yes. Eventually, I'll be able to drive the map dead easily, uh, without having to look at the map at all. But at the moment, I have to keep referring to it. Like Goldcrest Valley. The first time I ever played in Goldcrest Valley, it was quite tough, uh, but then of course by the end it was like you'd know exactly where to go to. You wouldn't even have to think about it, you'd just say we need to go to the wall cell point and you'd know exactly where to go to. Okay, so how do we get to the port? Do they have weeds growing on their roundabout or are they flowers? They are flowers. Yeah, the weeds in the fields are actually quite pretty. Here we are. So we technically shouldn't get any money for this. They might give us the money temporarily. It could be taken out of our bank account again. We'll just see exactly what happens here. Unless they forget to take it out, that would be good. No, it doesn't doesn't give us the money. So it's kind of like multiplayer when you're a player on the server but you're not an admin. So you don't actually see the money go up. It's going to somebody else. So the farm we're doing the work for is actually making a massive profit here. 56% of the field transported. So we are over halfway. Let's get back to the combine. It must be fairly full. And this should be the final time we have to come back here. The next time. Um, well, definitely. Definitely the final time. 56%. So less than 50% to go. 44%. Let's get it finished off. Because I really want to get back onto our own fields to sort out the weeds. It looks to me like the best paid jobs are the spraying jobs. Uh, they do seem to pay very well. I suppose it is because of the expense of the fertiliser. Because that is kind of taken into account in the reward. Um, I suppose, yeah, it's been calculated to be that every job is worth about the same amount. It's just the higher value ones either are fertilising jobs or they require seed or maybe it's just a bigger job in the first place. So there's the combine, it's still going strong, it's missed a bit and obviously we've got a big chunk over here which I wouldn't even expect it to be able to do because I left that one aside anyway. Uh, but it must be so close to finishing the field. Yeah, it's pretty close. We've got quite a bit done. 
Now, the augury is going to be on the wrong side, so hopefully it can get back up to the top. I think it will be able to. The beacon isn't going. So if I just park facing the opposite direction down here, we should be able to unload straight away. Once we get back into it. It's going dark. Half past seven. So yes, I'll leave this here. And we'll await the arrival of the Combine. Good timing. The beacon is on. Such good lighting. Um, yeah, so it's about 90% full. I don't think it tells you a percentage anymore. It's just giving us the fill bar. But I actually prefer that. I don't... I think the percentage clearly uh, had an issue before. Uh, since you couldn't... You couldn't actually get some things to 100%. Such as the buckets. Some of them would not fill to 100%. So... No point having a percent if it doesn't fill to completely full. So having a fill bar with the litres, uh, I would say, is a better idea. Right, we should be able to finish all this in no time at all. I'll really quickly get it done. And we should be able to get some more work done in our own fields before it goes dark. That's the plan. Oh yeah, beacon's off. Off we go. This is the final piece from this side of the field. Then we have the bit it missed and the final piece, the big chunk over there, which I was skipping anyway so that I could get it onto the worker. So yeah, we skip that and it does make life easier if you do it this way. It really does. The worker always tends to just go up and then turn around on the spot and come back down the other way. You can do that. I find it much slower. Uh, you'd have to reverse, doing it the way I've been showing uh, in the video. And we're on to the final piece. I wouldn't be surprised if it pops up any second saying the contract has been completed. But as always, I'm going to completely finish the field as it just looks good if you do a thorough job. So I've done all that. I might have missed a bit over there. Yeah, there's a tiny bit over there. It's just the odd bunch and I've just missed a bit there but we can get that in a second um, yeah come on it has to pop up about now would it be <laughs> it's a guessing game it looks like you do have to do the majority of the field now nope <sighs> now I give up yeah, so you really do have to do most of it. We'll do the final piece from the first person view, the interior. I do like to do first person view, but then again for a video, it can be quite good to show third person, because you can, you can see the map more, you can see the machine more. In here you are obviously confined to just the inside, and you can't really see the machine that much. Still not completed. I am surprised. There really isn't much left. We can check. There is a progress bar. Unless it completed ages ago. 91%. Oh, I see. I know what it's doing. It's considering the field finished, but it's not considering the job finished because it's not been taken over to the uh, cell point. So that is the reason why. We could have probably got away with not doing a fair chunk of that. But we're good. We like to do a good job here. Over on the Dagawin farm. So we'll transfer it to the tractor. And we'll prepare to go. The combine will sort itself out. Somebody from the lease company will uh, come and take it away in a second. I know I leave tractors engines running and machines, but for a leased machine, it doesn't matter. Stuck behind the traffic. Yeah, so I, I, we do still have to overtake the cars with the tractors. 
The tractors still travel faster. And here we are, over at the port, so this should complete the job. So yeah, this has taken up much more of the video than I was expecting. I really did think we could do it in just a few minutes, because uh, I was going to do time lapses and stuff, but yeah, it's still been a fair chunk of the video. But it's been worth it, we've made a few thousand pounds here. There he goes the barley. You know, it's a beautiful evening, not a cloud in the sky, so we'll get the sprayer out or the weeder and we'll deal with these weeds. Contract finished, good. £4,040. Uh, we did lose almost 900 for leasing, but even so, it's some extra money for us. Good. Now, the next thing to do is to take the new Holland tractor back over to the yard. As you can see, the maintenance bar is decreasing, it's dropping. Uh, this is because of wear and tear, so that is going to have to be maintained at some point. Also the fuel, that's dropping as well. Um, so, well obviously we still have three quarters of a tank, so no need to refill, but at some point we will have to. We have to go to the fuel stations to top up the tractors and machinery. Um, I believe there is actually a fuel tanker, though, a mobile one, so you can fill it up and bring it back to the farm if you'd like to. Right, I'm going to try a weeder, but only in this field here. There's no point taking it all the way over to field number 25 if it doesn't work at all. So, if field 20 is just here, we can try it. If it doesn't work, fine. Otherwise, um, yeah, we'll have to put some herbicide in the sprayer. I believe this is the first time I've had the weeder on the New Holland. I had it on the Massey Ferguson before. Doesn't make any difference though. It would make a difference if we had uh, these wheels on with the crop destruction switched on because we would be destroying the crop. Oh look, the gator. That needs to be put away under cover. So this is just going to be a test. We do. We have the same weeds. They're the same size, so if we can rip them out with this, that'll be really good, because it'll be free. If not, we'll have to get the sprayer. Oh wow, it's working. It is de-weeding the field. It's taking the weeds out. Nice, so we have caught it early enough. Which means this is the first proper opportunity to use this machine. we don't have to use any herbicide. So you can you can make it out of the difference there. You can see that it's much darker where the weeds are. It's a much denser crop because of the weeds filling in all the gaps. So I'll continue doing this and then we'll head over to film number 25 and do exactly the same thing. And I think after that the best thing to do is to go to sleep because it is going to be very dark. Uh, we're going to struggle to get this all done before it goes pitch black. In case you're wondering what the view is like from the interior, we do have some good visibility from this tractor. You can see the sides of the weeder and also the back. But so far, I think having the weeds is definitely a good thing. Uh, it's another thing that you have to do to maintain your crops. Like, you don't want it to be too easy. You don't want to just put the seed in and then you suddenly have the best crop on earth. We actually have to make the best crop on earth, although it probably still won't be the best one on earth especially my ones, but you never know, you might be able to create some very good crops. This field shouldn't be too bad, especially as we have caught these weeds at a very early stage. Now I think this is actually the second growth stage. I uh, can't say for sure, but I, I think it is, so I believe the weeder can be used on the first two growth stages. After that you do have to use the sprayer. Unless you want to leave the weeds in the field, which is fine, you'll lose 15% yield, 
uh, which isn't really bad, um, but then again, it's 15% yield. You're going to lose quite a bit of money. There is another reason why I want this crop in particular to be really good, and that is because it's canola, and, well, I always find canola to be a really good crop to do. We don't have to do much carting, since you don't get an awful lot of grain out of it, um, but it is worth a lot, so we want to get as much as possible. Only just not wide enough. So this is actually a weeder, but you can also double it up as a seeder. Um, you can also put the grass back in if you want to plant a field of grass. Uh, you can put a, a cover crop of oilseed radish and also canola. So it will do all of those crops, uh, which could be very beneficial. Especially the grass. I would say the grass would be really handy. Okay, so let's go over to our other field before it goes dark. Um, I have to say the light is holding with us, which is good. Uh, I, I don't want it to be too dark while doing these jobs. It's staying with us nicely. Oh, and before I forget, I'll put the gator away. I'll do that now. Come on, gator. You've been outside long enough. Again, it's a very good demonstration of foliage bending. It's crushing the grass, and then as we go over it, it's going to spring back up. It also has the seed palette, so it should really be inside. Hello. Oh, it zoomed in. Um, just so we couldn't see the dog. Yeah, the dog is back there. Right, we can walk back past the dog. Hello, Sniff. Yeah, I can't feed it until I have day one patch. This is recorded on the 19th, so before release of the game. But hopefully, I'll be able to feed the dog very soon. Okay, back over to our tractor. Again, you can see the interior lighting, so the dashboard lighting is lighting up the steering wheel and different controls around the steering wheel. In different tractors where you have a different screen, it will light up the area around that. For example, the John Deere has got a screen just down here. It lights up all of these levers and controls. Right, so the final third of today. Yeah, the Massey Ferguson is still out here. That needs to be packed up. It's over there with the sprayer on the back. I also need to try out the drills which have the hopper on the front of the tractor and they have the drill on the back and it puts a pipe down the side of the tractor. Yep, yeah, that's definitely working. It is quite hard to see in this light. So let's put some extra work lights on. Yep, weed free. Nice. Before this gets in the way, I'll get it moved. Oh, I thought it was going to do a dance then. That would have been impressive. And here we are back at the farm. The car behind is deciding to shine full beam right at us to blind us. Ah, that's better. So I think we do have an area freed up for this. Yeah, we'll go where the sea drill is. Park it in here. And there we go. That's that tractor done. That looks so atmospheric with the trees and the sunset in the background. Also with this sky, the dynamic sky, you can see when the rain is approaching. So that's going to make it much easier to know exactly when you should and shouldn't harvest. Like You can get the forecast for rain, but that doesn't mean it's about to rain, it could be in six hours time. If you look at the sky, you can see if the rain showers are close. Because if that sky is looking threatening, then chances are you're not going to want to go and start the combine and set out to the field. This field has now had lime, fertiliser and 
it's been weeded so it should be the best that we can do you really shouldn't be losing any kind of yield um, although we didn't plow it so yeah we didn't plow it so that would be losing 15% if I'm not mistaken I can check um, but yeah it should have been plowed it does say needs plowing when you hover over it which I'll show you in a second when we're finished which we've almost done almost finished the final piece right so yeah I'm so pleased that we've managed to use the weeder instead of spending more money on spray chemicals and uh, herbicide uh, right Oh, walking into my own weeder here Needs ploughing, it says, but it's fertilised 50%. Yeah, we've sprayed it once. We do need to spray it again with liquid fertiliser, but weeds are zero. So that is looking very healthy. So we'll take it back over to the farm, and then we'll call it a day. I do need to use the space behind the shed as well, just there. Um, I think I might start putting some bales out there because it doesn't matter if the bales get super wet because only the top bales will get wet um, so yeah we, we might lose the top bales if we're looking realistically at it um, but yeah we can definitely store bales outside no issues about it there'll be nothing coming off the next harvest since it's canola but the harvest after that will probably be barley or wheat or oats or something anyway there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.